You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. Under the guidance of the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Deputy Prime Minister and Mamtalaka Chairman Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, today announced the reopening of Bilaj Al Jazair Beach. On the sidelines of the inauguration ceremony, Sheikh Khalid expressed pleasure to announce the reopening of Bilaj Al Jazair, which comes within the framework of the Kingdom's comprehensive development led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. Organized by Idama, the inauguration was attended by the Governor of the Southern Governorate, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali Al Khalifa, and editors in chief of local newspapers, where Sheikh Khalid unveiled the destination's new logo and branding. Sheikh Khalid said that the 5 million Bahraini dinar first phase of the development also covered coastal reclamation, parking spaces, service facilities, and a 1.2 kilometer walkway. Further facilities will be added in future phases to turn the area into a mini tourism city, in line with one of the pillars of Bahrain's 2022 2026 tourism strategy. The tourism industry, one of the most promising in Bahrain's developmental program, is an important part of a wider comprehensive vision to support the kingdom's economic recovery plan. He added that implementing the vision of His Majesty the King and the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Bahrain is determined to continue overcoming the global challenges of the COVID 19 pandemic, transforming them into opportunities to invest in Bahraini citizens and offer them a decent standard of living. He commended Idama's efforts, which continue to transform visions into reality. This ambitious project adds two important destinations to Bahrain's tourism map and the governorate. Opening by 2024, Avani and Tivoli hotels will be the first hospitality projects at Bilaj El Jazair. Deputy Prime Minister and Chairman of the Board of Directors of Bahrain Mumtalakad Holding Company, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, inspected the Jumeirah Bahrain Bay Resort under construction overlooking the southwest coast of the kingdom, kilometers away from the Al Jazair Beach project. Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah paid the visit today in the presence of a number of ministers, the Governor of the Southern Governorate, and senior officials from the ministries and government agencies, accompanied by the editors in chief of the local newspapers who briefed them on the progress of work in this vital and strategic project. His Highness affirmed that the Kingdom of Bahrain, under the leadership of His Majesty, King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the follow-up of the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa is on the verge of major projects to develop the tourism infrastructure. His Highness said that the strategic tourism projects will consolidate and strengthen the sector's system as a whole through a chain of luxury waterfront hotels existing under and under implementation thanks to its unique qualifications that enhance the concept of ecotourism to attract more visitors from inside and outside the kingdom to explore its potential and secrets and among those projects is the Jumeirah Bahrain Bay Resort. During the visit, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa indicated that the opening of the Jumeirah Bahrain Bay Resort next year will enhance the opportunities for the tourism sector to contribute effectively to achieving the objectives of the tourism sector strategy within the economic recovery plan and for this sector to continue its role in supporting the kingdom's GDP. He noted that with the opening of the Jumeirah Bay Bahrain Resorts next year, in addition to the announcement today of the reopening of the Al Jazair Beach, which by 2024 will witness the operation of two hotels, in addition to what the Hawar Islands will witness in 2023 from the opening of its up upcoming hotel. Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa praised the efforts aimed at preserving Bahrain's achievements and contributing to its growth and prosperity, praising in this regard the role of the Bahrain real estate investment company Idama, the real estate arm of Bahrain Mumtalakat Holding Company. He also commended the role of all ministries and relevant government service agencies for their remarkable cooperation and coordination, especially the Ministry of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning, which implemented the South Bahrain Ring Road and the Electricity and Water Authority, which inaugurated the main electricity transmission station and the main water line with the aim of, for his part, the chairman of the board of directors of Bahrain Real Estate Investment Company, Idama, Khalid al ramehi valued the unlimited support received by the company and the continued follow-up by the deputy prime minister and chairman of the board of directors of Bahrain Mumtalakat Holding Company, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa.
During the visit, Mr. Amin al Arayb, the CEO of Adama Company, gave a presentation in which he indicated that the completion rate of the Jumeirah Bahrain Bay Resort project has reached about 82% to date. On the sidelines of the visit, Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah al-Khalifa received editors-in-chief of local newspapers and briefed them on the projects of Bilaj al jazair Beach and Jumeirah Bahrain Bay Resort. Sheikh Khalid expressed his pride in the national efforts made by the local press during the prosperous era of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa and the interest and follow-up of the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad al-Khalifa. He saluted the appreciative role of the journalists who have gained professional experience thanks to the approach adopted by the Kingdom of Bahrain, which is based on supporting freedoms and encouraging an honest and sincere word, the role of the press that contributes to enlightening and educating society, highlighting national achievements. The local newspapers will publish in their editions tomorrow comprehensive and extensive press interviews conducted by the editors-in-chief editors with the Deputy Prime Minister. It will cover more than 20 topics dealing with the reality and future of infrastructure in the Kingdom of Bahrain, such as the percentages of completion of infrastructure projects included within the government's program, the spending on projects over the past years, priority projects in terms of implementation in the next stage, housing, ways to ensure the sustainability of services and other important developmental and infrastructure topics. On behalf of all the association's affiliates and press and media cadres, President of the Bahrain Journalists Association, Isa Shaiji, expressed his thanks and appreciation to the Deputy Prime Minister for informing the editors-in-chief of local newspapers on the most recent developments in government development projects to develop the southwest coast region of the Kingdom of Bahrain. The first deputy chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, president of the General Sports Authority and president of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, delegated the vice president of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, to attend the fourth horse race organized by Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club. The race, which included seven rounds, was held for the Bahrain Olympic Committee Cup and the Bahrain Petroleum Company Babco Cup. The event was held in the presence of the vice president of the Supreme Council for the Environment and vice president of the Supreme Authority of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club. His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa. Also attending the race was a number of their Highnesses, as well as the Secretary General of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, Mohammed Hassan, representative of Babco, race sponsors, and horse racing enthusiasts. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa presented the Bahrain Olympic Committee Cup to the winner, Fawzi Nas. Then the winners of the Babco Cups were crowned as the head of business development at Babco. Sheikh Ibrahim bin Khalid Al Khalifa presented the third round cup to Abdullah Fawzi Nas and the fourth round cup to the winner, Alan Smith, and the sixth round cup to the winning owner. Hassan Mufrah Al Ajmi, while the general manager of marketing at Babco Company, Khalid Buhaza, presented the second round cup to the winner James Naylor, the fifth round cup to the winner Alan Smith, and the seventh round cup to His Highness Sheikh Sultan al Din bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa.
The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif Bin Rashid Zayani, met in Dubai today with the United Nations Special Envoy for Yemen, Hans Grondenberg. During the meeting, they discussed the developments of the situation in Yemen at the military, economic and humanitarian levels and the efforts made by the UN envoy to reduce the military escalation and reach a political settlement to the conflict in Yemen. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif Bin Rashid Zayani, met in Dubai today with U.S. Special Envoy to Iran, Robert Malley. During the meeting, they discussed the latest developments regarding the negotiations between the 5 plus 1 group and Iran on the Iranian nuclear file, the efforts being made to resume negotiations in Vienna, in addition to the efforts made to maintain security and stability in the region in light of the recent challenges and developments. The Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquity celebrated the ninth anniversary of the Bahrain National Theatre tonight through the hosting of the famous ballet performance Sleeping Beauty by Leonid Bakhoisen Ballet Theatre of St. Petersburg Academy. The international show comes to the stage in light of a revival of the cultural scene as the audience watched the show live after more than a year of suspension due to the COVID-19 pandemic. On this occasion, BACA President Sheikh Hamay bint Mohammed Al Khalifa stated that the Bahrain National Theatre is a dream that was realized when Manama was the capital of Arab culture and embodiment of the sustainability of the cultural movement through an infrastructure that works to develop and advance it. Sheikh Hamey expressed sincere thanks and gratitude to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa, the prime sponsor of the culture. The BACA president stressed that the Bahrain National Theatre will continue to be one of the pillars of cultural work in Bahrain, attract performances, host international arts, important cultural events, and promote the kingdom's position as a centre for cultural work in the region. The Sleeping Beauty show is performed for two days and audience can still have another chance to see the wonderful show tomorrow. On the ninth anniversary of the opening of this wonderful National Theatre, uh, we pay gratitude to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa um, under his uh, patronage under his sponsorship. This beautiful building um, came to life, and we're delighted to have all these cultural performances coming from various parts of the world. Um, tonight, uh, a Russian ballet from uh, from Moscow coming to perform with us Sleeping Beauty, a wonderful ballet with excellent classical music. And as you can see, everyone was delighted to be back, to have the life happening again around the city and in Bahrain. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,183,000 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 1,147,000 had taken the second and 489,000 had taken the booster dose. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccine. Meanwhile, the Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 266 with 40 recoveries, 19 registered new cases and no deaths. Four of the new registered cases were expatriates, 14 were contacts of active cases and one was travel related. The ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.